for an update on the SAA strike in Port Elizabeth. We're now cross live to our colleague Jade Lee Paul. So we know we're reporting on an issue about a huge inconvenience to passengers, but uh, I see it comes with benefits, Jade Lee, that uh, huge cup of coffee. <laughs> 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 well, Desiree, we've been speaking to passengers this morning at Port Elizabeth International Airport, asking them how the grounding of the SAA flights have affected them. And many of them are disgruntled. Many of them had to reroute their flights to several other airlines. And it has inconvenienced them. Several of the airlines have unfortunately run a bit over the time. We've seen about delays of two hours, three hours at most. Um, so many of them have been sitting here at the airport waiting for the airlines. But Desiree, it's also very important to know that the Eastern Cape is the hub of business. Um, we've got SAA you know, routes all the way far as Tata, and I suppose those businessmen and women are also severely affected when they're going to the former Transcar. But also in East London, um, we have lots of businesses there as well. So it really does affect the general business uh, population of the Eastern Cape and businessmen and women alike. And I am sitting with one of the entrepreneurs right now. And I want to know from you, Ian, you know, we've been speaking to many passengers, asking them how it inconveniences them. But I think the greatest of Africa don't realize that the industry industries affected by this how does it actually affect the industries well I think it's we we treat industry as a, a national uh, problem now and so if you come in into the Eastern Cape to do business here you'll be traveling in from Johannesburg or Durban or Peter Marisburg one of those places and for us it's all about reliability so what you want to be doing is arriving on time for your flight uh, on time for your meetings that you set up at weeks in advance and I think that's the main thing so yes costs are important um, yes there are options of other airlines out there but I think what SAA really needs to be doing is focusing on the reliability of getting us to our various destinations safely as well but on time and reliably and that's what will affect us as businessmen the most. I know that off camera you are telling me that you usually don't really travel with SAA and that's because you've also had some of your fair share of drama with them. But um, just in terms of businessmen who look at SAA as a status, you know, now people unfortunately have to now downgrade certain business class tickets. It must obviously also affect them. Yeah, we're very proud of our national airline, but it does come down to you need a service, and the service is about all reliability and getting there on time. So, yeah, we will switch. Uh, we'll switch where the market uh, makes sense and we've got a better option. Um, I'm currently on BA this morning, but I'm quite happy to travel on SAA as long as that I'm confident that I can get there on time. So, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Ian. Well, there you have it, Israel. Many of the businessmen here in Port Elizabeth um, are reliant on SAA, like I said before, that a lot of routes are, you know, designated for Umtati area. And sometimes those routes um, are the only routes that you have available. I know coming from Umtata, there's only one flight that goes there. So businessmen and women will be affected when they're going to that part of the country as well as East London. Just walking in the airport earlier on, um, SAA flights are are not going out. It's really a skeleton staff here. We've tried to speak to some of them outside of the Port Elizabeth International Airport. There were NUMSA members who are also um, employees of SAA, also picketing and protesting, speaking to shop stewards, and they were saying that simply this is unacceptable. The retrenchments came at a time where they can't um, you know, find jobs. Um, you know, the climate in South Africa with regards to job employment and employment, is, it's, it's really dire. So these retrenchments are really going to affect them and they're saying that they're going to be fighting back when it comes to that interest. Um, Desiree, it's back to you in studio. Thank you so much for that update uh, there from Jade Lee. Meanwhile, President Sir Ramaphosa has referred to